The uh, Florida Orchestra music director, Michael Francis, is on board, and he will be speaking in English. <laughs> Good morning, Jack. Good morning, morning Ted. Morning. Morning. How are you? Well, one tries. I have to keep going back to Europe to keep getting it retuned, <laughs> but I do try. <laughs> you certainly do that. you got some big things coming up here with the orchestra, haven't you? We do. Our holiday season is always extremely exciting time for us. We love to bring the music that you all love to hear. So starting this Thursday, we have our happy hour. Our series and if you don't know about that pop along to the Strass Center at 5 30 and then you get to have free drinks well I say free drinks I think you pay $35 and then once you're in you get a free bar and that's supported by Cigar City beer and Tito's vodka drinks and then you for a whole hour you get all those drinks and then you get an, an hour's concert and this is conducted by our principal guest conductor Stuart Molina with pomp and circumstance happy birthday variations have I mentioned that we're 50 this year 50, 50 years, years old 50, of November. 50 this year. Happy and all birthday. sorts of thank you very much, Ted. And all sorts of wonderful things. And then after the concert, you can also stay and meet the musicians and have a drink with them. What's and, your favorite happy birthday variation? Well, the one based on England, of course, I mm, would say. Mm. Yeah. I mean, the piece that we play is marvelous. It goes through um, Spain and Italy and it goes to America, but then it finishes with England. I'm so sorry. Oh, finishes. We are the with grand England. finale of that piece, <laughs> Pomp and Circumstance. So that's really a, a great, fun um, occasion to turn up after work with your friends, meet there. And during the concert, people head out to the bar, they come back in. It's really good fun. And it's a great way to introduce people to the concert, to the orchestra. And just to have a great social, meet like-minded people, perhaps a date. Who knows? Oh, yeah. Matchmaker, matchmaker, make me a match. And you, perhaps, if you're one of those who is familiar with having a drink and socializing, but you've never heard the orchestra, that's the part that will really stun you once you hear them. Absolutely. When you hear and see an orchestra live, yeah. it is a completely different experience to hearing it on a CD or on the radio. I'm no matter how good away. the radio is. I'm always blown away by the violin section. I can't keep my eyes off them because they, it's so routine, seemingly, for them. I mean, just boom, 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 and everything's and, – and they're all together. And, I mean, it's, that one blows my mind. The others, you know, I've seen so many trumpets and trombones and things like that. You expect that. But – Violin section, or we call it back in West Virginia, the fiddle, fiddle section. section. <laughs> we got a lot of great fiddlers. we got a lot of great fiddlers. And, you know, it's an amazing skill because if they move their finger a millimeter out, it's a different note. Yeah. And they're flying at an incredible speed and all together like a like a – just birds moving together. It's really, I'm always amazed by that as well. I was a double bass player. We played one note and they played 12 within the same space of time. And the advantage <laughs> of being a conductor, of course, is that I'm never out of tune anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like how Jack just poo pooed the brass section, though. I mean, do you know how no, much I love brass. the lung I'm, capacity oh, yeah. to blow into a saxophone or a trumpet? It's incredible. Oh, I played the sax in high school. I was terrible, or junior high, I guess. I was bad, but. What's your favorite pop group? Heck? Favorite pop group? Sting. You like Sting? Sting. Well, I have to say that because this Saturday... It's Saturday Sting. <laughs> I was going to say, isn't that amazing that Sting's going to be here? How's that for a segue? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we have our big gala this Saturday, and this is our annual big fundraiser, the big way to celebrate the orchestra, and our guest artist is Sting, and it's already totally sold out, but it's going to be an exceptional evening listening to an Englishman in New York, all the wonderful hits that we have. Um, but we also have the Holiday Pops coming up, and that's become a huge favorite. In fact, we're so much so that we've extended it to five concerts this year, and already quite a few of them are sold out. So if you want to come along, do come and hear those December the 15th to the 17th. All your family favorites, um, carols, there's Sleigh Ride, Winter Wonderland, Ave Maria. This um, is a week from this weekend. That's right, yeah. And that's weekend a, after next. And we have matinees as well. But that's a great thing to bring your kids along and you can sing and have fun. And they've become a real stable diet of the cultural life of Tampa Bay in the holiday season. And then not long after that, we also have The Messiah, which mm. is a piece that is 275 years young. I was reading actually this morning about this piece. So this piece has a quarter of a million notes in it. It's about wow. two and a half hours long. Handel how long was do you tired, think, huh? Yeah, how long do you think it took him to, to write it? How long? Three weeks. Get out. No, I'm not Really? Joking. Get three out. Three weeks. Two hours long, and it took him three weeks? He got it done in three weeks? I think that 10 hours a day. Someone did the math. That's 15 notes a minute. Wow. And Man. that's hallelujah. And I mean, it's amazing. So we do this around the holiday season. Uh, December the 21st in Idlewild Baptist Church, um, which is a huge mega church up in Lutz. 
On the 22nd, we go to the Mahaffey Theatre, and then on the 23rd, we go to Indian Rocks Church. So we're spreading it round, and that's going to be a great way to celebrate Christmas. It's become, again, a really key part of cultural life, to go and see Messiah at Christmas. What's your favorite Christmas music, favorite Christmas song? Carol. Honestly, honestly, now I think it's the Alleluia Chorus from Handel's Messiah. That well, to me beyond is, that, more pop. More pop. Let me think. I listened to Pentatonix the other day. Do you know who they are? No. They're this sort of group, um, a cappella group, and they were doing Come All You Faithful in a modern sort of hip-hop version. Now, I'm not an expert in hip-hop versions, <laughs> but it was more hip-hop than Hallelujah. That's all I can say. You're you guys to plan to tackle uh, yeah, any hip-hop in the uh, Florida Orchestra in the near future? Yeah, I think they do sort of, they, they try to do that. I mean, we've got Sting, and that's not quite hip-hop, but it's, no, it's no, certainly no, no, pop. No, hip-hop, hip-hop, like, like Baby's Got Back oh. and stuff <laughs> Baby's like that. Baby's Got Back. Yeah. Do you know Seattle Orchestra did Baby's Got Back, actually, with, really? with, with, with an orchestra, and what was his name? Uh, Sir, Sir D- Mix-a-Lot. Sir, Mi- Sir right. Mix-a-Lot. Sir Mix-a-Lot. Yes. yes. Sir Mix-a-Lot. Is that not how he's pronounced, Jack? Yes, Sir Mix-a-Lot. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to say a Sir Mix-a-Lot <laughs> in order to do it. <laughs> but, now, that, that is bizarre. But I, the, uh, I, I would think Christmas music would be the most exciting of all with that orchestra. And, I mean, with the full, rich sounds when you take your favorite songs like that and put them to music. I think anything, when you hear it with that many musicians playing together, it just absolutely enhances it. I mean, Sting, we love his music. When you hear it with a live symphony orchestra as well, it's on a different level. And all the carols, and when the whole audience is singing along, the whole thing comes alive in a different way to just on your own or singing in a bar or something. It's a very, very different experience, and it's it's, it's quite magical. Um, and talking of magic, we also, if you want to come and see Harry Potter, we're doing that at the end of the month as well. Can you dress up? Oh, try to stop them. <laughs> try to oh, stop them. There's must. spells flying and there's all sorts of things. And that's um, and December the 28th to the 30th, um, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Do you know I played on the original film of that? You did? Really? Really? I did, yeah, when I was in the London Symphony Orchestra. Wow. you got to be kidding. No, um, with John the original Will- Harry Potter movie? Yeah, with John Williams conducting. My Lord, my son and... My wife saw you your work many times. Yes, yeah, so when you see the big snake thing at the end and you feel something else disturbing in the stomach, that's me on the double bass. <laughs> really? Yes. <laughs> Unsettling you. I might have to go watch that movie now. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, you can get all the information at floridaorchestra.org because they're going to be making a whole lot of appearances during the holiday season. And, Michael, we appreciate your coming down here this morning and giving us another lesson on speaking English. <laughs> Thank you very much, and happy Christmas to you all. Merry Christmas, Michael. God bless. Merry Christmas, and I, I learned a word, the loo. The loo. <laughs> That's the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> that, that Do you ever skip bathroom. to my loo? And on that note. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff just said, did you ever skip to my loo? <laughs> I ran to it. <laughs> yes. Never skip to it. A uh, sophisticated conversation this early in the morning. <laughs> thank you, Michael, and thank you, your entourage that comes in here with a one, two, cameras, lights, action, everything. And Great. we'll talk to you later.